Yo, 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 what up, Shmi and Dus, what up, y'all, if you're new, welcome, if you're a turner, what up, though, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, go check out my mixtape, Love and Hip Hop, in the description below, here we go, another react video, top five, Wheel Khalifa, Strange Facts, now, this is my first time with, um, Michael McCruden, or whatever, um, I'm, you know, I was just thinking behind the scenes, I just hope he's not corny, um, this this is a like a random segment. I'm just doing all his top videos and then a couple I wanted to do. So I got about 30 in the tank. Um again, I just hope he's not corny or anything. They short videos, so it should be fine. Um what else I want to say before I start real fast? He also does the before they was famous, after they was famous, before they was dead segments. That's that's really his staple, but this is just like it's a side piece. We go get into it. That's before Mia Khalifa rose to the top of the world of porn in 2015 and would stay oh, way shit, above star? the competition, shit. before Michael McCrudden did it before they were famous on Mia Khalifa, then Michael brought in McCrudden. over 3.5 uh, million views, before Michael did an updated version that received an additional 1 million views, before another 1 million people watched Michael compare her work to that of his beloved Kendra Sunderland in a Street Fighter battle. Well, let's Michael just say McCrudden. Mia Khalifa, she allowed me to find some success on YouTube, and for that, I am forever grateful. That's why I am doing a top five strange facts on Mia Khalifa on my second channel, Most Amazing Top Five. If you haven't already subscribed over there, what are you waiting for? Let's jump into that other video. The world of adult film has never seen anything like the success Mia Khalifa found overnight. She went from flipping burgers to doing the naughty, and overnight she was on the tip of everyone's top. But despite all this, she actually keeps a pretty low profile. Unless you're like a celebrity that is really aggressive with her DM, well then she might put you on blast. <coughs> Drake. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCrudden and welcome to the most amazing top five where I break down the world into brilliant top five lists. Be sure to sit Drake back, subscribe, and let me entertain you. Let's jump into our list with the top five strange Mia Khalifa facts. But in this list, well, I did a whole lot of research, so they're really strange. Cool. First up, <laughs> number funny. five, let's <laughs> talk about them tattoos. The girl has got some new ones. Mia recently opted to show her respect for Batman with oh, a back piece tweeting out Batman forever. This encouraged one fan to make for her some Batman comic art. And naturally, well, her and the Dark Knight, they got it on. Mia likes her Dark Knights. She does. Then there are the other two tattoos that got her in a little bit of trouble. One is of the Lebanese forces cross, a symbol of the Christian political party. Another reads in Arabic, Kilauna ul watin il ula ul ila. I probably butchered the pronunciations, but those are the <laughs> opening lines of the Lebanese national anthem. Also, take a look at that little arrow thing she's had put on her wrist. Now, if you are looking at that photo and looking at the tattoo, there is something wrong with you. Because there's two things there distracting the hell out of me. Those delicious beers. Next up at the number four spot, Mia Khalifa, she had the opportunity to make the leap into reality television. In India, their version of Big Brother is known as Big Boss. And in the past, Canadian-born adult actress Sunny Leone, she was able to turn her time on that game show into a platform for her to cross into mainstream media. Well, the producers of Big Boss, they were desperate to have Mia Khalifa join the show for season nine, but Mia, she wasn't gay. She actually took to Twitter to give her reply. Let's get something clear. I am never stepping foot in India, so whoever said I have shown interest in being on Big Boss should be fired. Ouch! Oh, it's got her, India. India be like, what do we do to her? And then they look back at some of those evil tweets they've sent out, and they're like, oh yeah, that. Moving on to the number three spot, oh, this yeah, girl that. is sports mad. When Mia first rose to fame, she stated that she was the unofficial mascot for the Florida State Seminoles. When it comes mm. to the NFL, her team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. When it comes to the NHL, she cheers for the Washington Capitals, and she's even into some weird sports, like lacrosse, which is actually Canada's national sport. So maybe she likes Canadian guys. Actually, I I know way too much about this girl that if I ever met her, it'd be really awkward. And although she loves sports, it don't mean she's hooking up with every athlete. Ask Duke Williams, who messaged her also in her DM, and then, well, she put that on blast. Moving on to the number two spot, Mia Khalifa <laughs> was not very supportive Please of one Caitlyn Jenner DM. when she transitioned Jeez. from that of Bruce Jenner. After the Vanity Fair cover was released, Mia was quick to hit up Instagram stating, My and Bruce went from paying twenty dollars to get My into the club Bruce. to free before eleven thirty. <laughs> and beware of the Decepticons, gentlemen. She also made a comment about Brett Favre wanting to check out Caitlyn Jenner's goods, and uh, a lot of sports references there. 
and nightclub references. I get the nightclub ones. The sport ones are for me. On the other foot, she got pissed at the media when they were referring to Lamar Odom as Khloe Kardashian's husband, you know, when he was in the hospital. She's like, this guy's accomplished a whole lot before he ever got with the Kardashians. So you don't need to be referring to him that way. And for this one, well, she was applauded. Okay, I know you guys been waiting to hear what number one is, and it is all about Mia Khalifa changing the industry. For real. Unlike most girls in porn, Mia doesn't allow the same sexuality to take over Instagram or Twitter. Seriously, she really would prefer to talk about sports. On top of all this, she doesn't work that often. Seriously, she was bragging that she only works 12 times a year. That's once a month. And I'm telling you, girls in this industry, they work a whole lot harder than that. No pun intended. Now, a company by the name of Scoreland, they discovered Mia when she was working at Whataburger. They filmed a few scenes and then all of a sudden Pornhub, well they're the ones who went public with all the controversy happening with her being from the Middle East and them being upset and well it was a bit of a marketing campaign. Her success on top of all this, well it's something the porn industry hasn't seen before, it's mainstream media pushing her out and having us all talk about her and more people even fantasizing about her. Since her arrival, well the porn industry is going, huh, we've really been missing the mark and they're getting all sorts of women of different ethnicities into the industry and they're filming as many scenes with hijabs as humanly possible. Basically all of them for 2015. <laughs> On top of that, they're also playing with <laughs> other religious <laughs> taboos. So if you're into like a naughty nurse, you're gonna be seeing a whole lot more of that. Actually, I saw one with Nikki Benz, it was great. Alright guys, that's all I got for you in this video. My name is Michael Craig. Be sure you subscribe to both my Michael channels, Craig. there's most amazing top five, as well as before their fans. Which Michael is actually Kruger. a channel known as Mr. McCrud Michael. Oh, he did I really should have thought that through before I made the channel. But what are you gonna do? There are two other videos floating around my head. Click on one of those and I'll see you guys in another video. See, I should have thought of that before I made the video. What are you gonna do? Alright. Um, first off, Michael, if you see this, man. Hand clap, bro. Bro, you funny dog. Salute to you, real talk. We got humor. Everything it wasn't born. Um, it was only born because he was like, I don't want to say he was old Dean, but I just stopped caring. You know what I'm saying? She's a porn star. That's cool. Whatever. You know, people in her DM. So you know, she do seem a little stuck up or snobby. I don't know. I don't know the lady, but from what I've seen, you know what I'm saying? Dudes in your DMs, you ain't gotta put them on blast like that. Um, but hey, you know what I mean? You get it how you live. You know what I'm saying? You know. Um, Message to guys, stay out of chicks' DMs. I mean, I've been in a couple DMs. Um, you know, it is what it is. But I don't know. It's just I, I know, I know how it is. You know, you think it, you know, you think it with your penis and not with your head. And you just drop head first into a two foot pool. So um, that happens. Um, let me see. I was supposed to change this wallpaper too. To um. To um, Dragon Dogma because I beat this game already, but I just started Dragon Dogma last night. PS3, so all these videos gonna have this in it, whatever. Dragon Dogma go be in the next series, so whatever. But um, that was good, so I'm looking forward to seeing his um, before they was famous. After they was famous, I know he gonna be funny, so um. He might even get the grade A treatment where he get the thumbs up beforehand. Um, I'm gonna give him three videos. If he if he land the next three videos solid, he'll get the thumbs up before I even go in. Just to show my respect. Um Grade A always got that. I don't do no more grade A's only because, you know what I'm saying? I, it was it was such a big issue. Grade A has not, thank you, Grade A. He has not deleted, you know, my channel or, you know did copyright strikes but you know I could tell if I did it he would have a problem yes I'm coming so yeah um let me go the more stripping you um so yeah I'm just check all those out your boy does want to go go and check my mixtape love and hip-hop description below don't forget to rate comment and subscribe two fingers to the side does that